The practice of examining one's conscience is a traditional practice that can help us search our heart and reflect interiorly on God's demands on our life, our marriage, and our vocation in the middle of the world. We are meant to silently probe our conscience as we hear the questions read out and ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten us, to awaken us to God's will, so that we might correspond generously. Let us listen now to some prepared questions about the topics that we've been praying about. We begin with an act of the presence of God. Do I deal with God as a father, full of merciful love, who has sent his son to save us? For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. Do I ask the Holy Spirit to give me the confidence to call on God my Father? Do I read and meditate on the Holy Gospel every day, trying to put myself into the Gospel narratives as one more in the scene and compare my life with that of Jesus? Is there anything inconsistent in my life as a Christian that keeps me from getting close to God? The Acts of the Apostles tell us that Jesus went about doing good. Do I endeavor to treat others well, to work with perfection, and to be grateful? In the Magnificat, Our Lady prays, My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Is Advent for me a time of joyful preparation for the coming of the Lord? And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Am I doing all I can at home to create an atmosphere of expectation for Christmas? Do I make use of the nativity scene at home to remind visitors of the Christian meaning of these holidays? The Gospel tells us that Jesus was obedient to Joseph and Mary and that his mother kept all these things in her heart. Do I encourage my friends and relatives to give their children a good Christian education? Do I help my friends discover the greatness of marriage and family life, for example, inviting them to programs such as the family enrichment courses? Do I ask Mary, the mother of Jesus and our mother, to help purify my heart so that I can live this time of Christmas with joy? We finish with an act of contrition. 